What do you say we wake this car up from its winter hibernation? Hey, what's going on everybody? It's been a while since my last video. But there's a good reason for that. It's called winter and we had a brutal one this year. Good news is we're actually having some warmer weather and today it's gonna to be about 55 degrees. So today I'm taking the Fox body over to my buddy Nate and we're gonna get started on a five lug Cobra disc brake conversion. Also gonna do a couple odds and ends, uh, just things that need to be done with the car. And uh, I'm gonna show you some of the parts and go over what we're gonna do. And then we'll take a ride and go visit Nate at his shop. All right, so what's going on with the car? Uh, car has been sitting since November. Um, gonna fire it up for the first time today. Here's all the parts. Uh, since I am going five lug, obviously I need new rims. I did get uh, chrome ponies. I just like the chrome pony look. Kind of the kind of stock looking. Uh, just always been a fan of the chrome pony, so I'm sticking with that for now. But they are 17s. I already got uh, some Nitto 245 on the front. Then I got some Mickey Thompson. Uh, drag radials here uh, for the rear these are 275 so as you can see i got plenty of work here for nate and uh, again we're going to do some odds and ends so one of the things uh, one of the issues that i'm having is this belt keeps jumping a rib and um you know probably something's out of alignment so we're going to get that fixed also have to replace this idler pulley uh, had a little bit of an issue last year and the uh, front lip of that kind of got uh, chewed away. So we're gonna fix that. It's always good to have a list, guys. <laughs> Follow the list. So here's my list of stuff that we're gonna be doing. So uh, besides that, we're also gonna be doing the uh, AC accumulator um, and the discharge here. There really isn't anything wrong with these. It's just that, you know, I'm used, I've been using these zip ties right here um, because the insulation is getting really old and brittle. And also, somebody tried painting uh, this before and it's just not really up to my standards. So we're gonna uh, replace these guys here and then also recharge the system and also replace some O-rings because I've got a bit of a leak here. So usually like my uh, ACL lasts for about a month or so and then it's just, it's gone because it keeps leaking out. Also going to be doing uh, maximum motorsport upper control arms. And then of course we gotta do an alignment. All right guys, what do you say we wake this car up from its winter hibernation? All right, guys, I made it. I am at my buddy Nate's shop, AKA Dr. Fox Body. Uh, we're here in Woodstock, Illinois. So let's go take a quick look at his shop. You guys already seen my car. Let's go take a look at his shop and uh, see what he's got going on today. Nate, what's up? Hi, Tom. We got <laughs> slim pickings here today. Now nah, let's see, let's take a look at this race car over here. What is going on with this oh, thing? This is a nice little street car, aftermarket block, uh, turbo 400 trans. Uh, we're gonna check the cam profile and uh, probably change that out. He's looking for a four digit rear wheel horsepower. So quite a few things are gonna be changed on this one, like I said, including the entire turbo kit. Uh, he's even looking to possibly changing the heads up. Uh, okay. A different intake, um, obviously the ignition system. He still has, you know, stock TFI with a blaster coil on it. That's not gonna fly for what he's looking for. So no. We're gonna dig into this, reevaluate, and uh, you know, talk to the powers that be, and we're gonna see if we can uh, get this guy's goals met. Uh, over here we got, we got Bob going through his personal power, doing a couple, uh, doing a couple cool add-ons. It's got a new Gen 2 long block in it. I uh, just went and put a 355 gear in it. We're gonna 
Well, not we. He's going to finish that up. <laughs> he, he doesn't allow me to touch his car. Okay. This particular. He, so he, he slapped me in the wrist last time I tried. You said a, a new Gen 2 Coyote yeah, motor in here? Yeah, it's got a new Gen 2 Ford Coyote. All right. Uh, it has Gen 1 Boss 302 cams, and there's some other things I'm probably not at liberty to talk about. <laughs> okay. Again, he likes his stuff. Probably. Okay. We got What's a, going on with this thing right here? Uh, this was going to be a Coyote swap car. I had my body guy come look at it this morning, and uh, pretty much uh, what we want to do with it, uh, deemed it that it's probably best to sell. So okay. if anyone's looking for a $1,000 roller, Thousand dollar roller, place. Woodstock, Illinois. That's got a modular K member in it. It's got some other goodies. Then we got my wife's car that's been finished off. All right, guys, this beauty is Nate's wife's car. And uh, we're not gonna talk any specifics about the engine here because I, I definitely wanna do a, uh, a review on this car. But we'll take a look. What year is this, Nate? This is a 91. It's got uh, just over 40,000 original miles on it. This car started its life as a, uh, a rent a car in Florida. So Oh, nice. So that's about as much information as I got through Marty. Uh, okay. Uh, it's still it's still nice. I mean, the underbody you could eat off it. it. It's a gorgeous car. It's fun to drive. It's loud as hell. It's exactly what she wanted. Uh, again, I'm in Woodstock, Illinois with my good buddy Nate, Dr. Foxbody. Any of you local guys that need any work done on your cars, definitely look them up. Dr. Foxbody on Instagram and also on, on Facebook. Facebook? Yeah. Also on Facebook. And uh, we'll take a quick look at the shop here again real quick. Hey everybody, I am back in Woodstock, Illinois, visiting my buddy Nate, Dr. Fox Body. Uh, we still got a couple things to wrap up here, but I wanted to come and take a look at it and see where we're at. And also give you guys a quick look underneath the car, which I don't think I've shown you before. So, all right, Nate. Yes, sir. This is the 94 to 2004 uh, Cobra disc brake set? Correct. Uh, pretty much what you're looking at is uh, rear 94 to 04 calipers and pads. You can tell that they're thinned. Get some extra cooling in there. You know, obviously, uh, you're going for aesthetic looks. You've come to the right place. Uh, <laughs> Tom decided that it would be a wise idea based on a personal recommendation of mine to run the Maximum Motorsport uh, rear line kit. So you see these nice... Uh, Perfect, beautiful, stainless lines here, and these nice brake hoses. That's all courtesy of Maximum Motorsports. We also uh, did the upper, max, so now I've got the Maximum Motorsport upper control arms, right? Correct, and we uh, that kit came with uh, some really nice upgraded bushings on the uh, control arm side as well as the axle side, so we pressed in those on the axle side, and we got this uh, Nice conjunction, it'll be really good for street driving. Yep, so I also got the uh, lowers, that, which you did last year for me. Yes, they're fantastic, aren't they? And uh, thanks to Nate uh, and his recommendation, I also decided to go with the Ford Racing diff cover, which, if anything, aesthetically just looks awesome. I, I, I think this just adds a little bit of finishing touch here. Mm, absolutely, too bad this is probably the last time anyone sees it. <laughs> All right, so you guys have not seen underneath my car uh, yet, but um, as you can see, I do have the Maximum Motorsport uh, full-length subframe connectors. Uh, and, you know, the car is actually pretty clean for being, you know, over 30 years old. You can see that there is zero rust. Uh, and if anything, it's just a little bit of road dirt on here. And here we got the fronts. Again, you know, Nate's just wrapping things up here and uh, we still have to do the uh, air conditioning lines and then also try to figure out what's going on with the, uh, with the supercharger belt here. Uh, but, you know, I, got, I brought the car to the right place. <laughs> so if anybody can do it, Nate can do it. Uh, all right, so you know what? I think maybe we'll put the car down and uh, just see how she sits. But uh, here's what it looks like up in the air. All right, guys, here is the new stance. And these are uh, Mickey Thompson ET Streets uh, 275-45. And then I've got some Nittos up front, and these are 245-45s. And you can see, she's got a nice little stance now. All right, guys, time to wrap up this video. 
More videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. All right. Hey, cool. Welcome to the No Double Chin Cam. I'm uh -huh. Nate. Anyways, this is Brother Tom. This is uh, Brother Tom's car right here. Real nice vehicle. Hey, that's my kid. What's up, buddy? Uh -huh. Hi, I see you up there. Whoa, hey there. Anyways, so next time you see this video, Brother Tom's car here will be on the road. Hopefully, unless I really fuck up. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, hit that. No, don't just hit it. Smash. Punch it, that smash it. Hit that like and subscribe button for old brother Tom here. Give him some love and uh, we'll see you soon.